So today guys, we're going to be looking at my GTX 970s by MSI. Now I have owned these cars for quite a while, around about 8 months now, and they have performed exceptionally well at 1440p gaming. But I'm noticing more the demanding titles such as GTA 5, the top car is getting around about 83 Celsius, 84, and the bottom car is falling behind around about 8 to 10 Celsius less. But this is expected because obviously I'm running an SLI setup. But I remember having a pair of 670 power editions by MSI and they had the same problem over time. And I remember taking the actual cooler off and the thermal compound on the actual GPU core itself was more like a rubber than actual compound itself. And I got a funny feeling that MSI might have actually been using the same compound on the 970s as well as probably the 980s as well. So we're going to be taking my graphics card out of my system today and see what we can do about it. So let's get started. One thing that always bugged me guys about the MSI's 980 and 970 graphics cards is that the fact that they never include a backplate and they did on the 100th anniversary edition and I felt that this card really needed the backplate. Now today we're going to got some Arctic Clean and we're going to use MX4 and of course Liquid Pro. Now I'm not sure which actual thermal compound I want to use permanently so I'm going to put one thermal compound on one card and the other thermal compound on the other card simply so it saves me wiping them off and on off and on and just swap the card to see which one performs the best. Now you might have seen me use some little pliers then to get one of the bolts out because MSI tend to put a little tiny sticker on one of the bolts to prevent people from actually taking off the cooler to avoid the warranty. So hopefully if anything goes wrong I can put it back on and they won't notice the difference. So just as a thought guys, the actual film compound on my 970s is all dried up and not really doing nothing but I was more shocked at the fact that the nickel copper heat plate had glue resin holding it onto the GPU itself what I've never seen before and the second GPU didn't have this either. It's always nice that MSI include a heat plate to actually distribute some of the uh, heat from the components and as you can see the FFCs and the solid caps are MSI's military class pro components. Now FFC stands for super ferrite chokes, I'll give you a 35% lower in temperatures, a 30% higher increase in capacity and a 20% improvement to energy power efficiency which should in theory give you a better overclocking stability and I gotta admit these cars do actually overclock pretty well and stable at the same time. Now as you can see guys I'm cleaning the GPU core itself with some tissue paper and Arctic Clean and I use the earbud as well just to get that little bit all the way around and start actually breaking the actual dry compound up and then use a bit more tissue paper to actually wipe it off. Now you can use ipethical alcohol, I have got some but I got Arctic Clean today so I thought I'll use it because I haven't used it for a while. Now, you can use a microfiber towel for this as well, but I like using a tissue because it's harmful and doesn't really put any scratches in. Now, as you can see, I'm putting stage two on now. This is just to get any remaining actual uh, residue on top of the core because this core needs to be super shiny, super clean. As you can see in the picture now, it is super shiny, and that GM204 970 chip is gleaming pretty damn well. So as for applying the new thermal compound, I wasn't sure, like I said, which thermal compound I actually would like on my 970s. So I decided to do one card with Liquid Pro by Cool Laboratory and the second card with MX4. Now the amount of Liquid Pro you've just seen is actually the incorrect amount you actually need to apply. And I had to reapply it because it was leaking out. Now this is the actual amount you need, pretty much half of what I just showed you. But the, the actual application process is the same. So you can get a brush for this, but I use earbuds because they're really soft and it prevents any scratches in the 
the actual dye itself. And all you have to do is just keep working at it and eventually it will just spread across the whole GPU. But like I said, that little amount I just showed you is all you need. And the amount I'm showing you now is a pretty, pretty much too much. And when I actually squashed the, um, the nickel copper plate back onto the dye itself, it started leaking off, which is very, very bad. So all you have to do is pretty much spread the whole lot like this. And the second card, I did put MX4. I didn't unfortunately film it though, guys, but pretty much exactly the same blob in the middle. I put a glove on and then slowly spread it all over until the whole GPU actually covered itself. Now, as in refitting it, guys, you pretty much, I like doing it face down. The actual die itself, you pick it up and place it straight on so you know that it ain't going to slide around and have a nice contact with it because it's upside down and all you have to do is pretty much just put those bolts back in like you see now i go to opposite sides to make sure the spread itself and as you can see i'm trying to get that bolt back in with the actual sticker on just in case any warranty problems in the future i can hopefully send it back and msi won't notice it's been off if i apply some crappy thermal compound again and all you got to do is just nip them all up as you can see now and that's pretty much it and also make sure guys you obviously can reconnect the fans or they won't work so there we go guys, both my thermal compounds on my MSI GTX 970s have been replaced. The one in the system already has got MX4 and the one in my hands have actually got the Liquid Pro. I'm not really sure which compound I'm going to stay with though guys. I do really love MX4, they're applied really nice and it's probably a bit more safer than the Liquid Pro. Liquid Pro can quite be quite conductive and also it can deteriorate metal over time. But I shouldn't worry too much on this though because the heat pipes and the actual heater is copper nickel plating so I shouldn't really worry about that but I have seen it when it starts to melt aluminium but I'm going to do a little bit of testing now and come back with the results but it would be interesting to see which the difference between the two one but anyway guys thanks for watching this video I really appreciate it and if you please leave a comment and a like I love what you guys think about this video and also have you actually replaced the thermal compound on your 970s or 980s yourself or any such graphics card with good results I'd love to know comment below but anyway guys thanks for watching again and I'll catch you in the next video Bye guys!